I can identify and compare fractions. Let's compare one half and one fourth. One half means we have something cut into two equal parts and we're going to shade in one of them. For one fourth, we have four equal parts and we're going to shade in one. I shaded more for one half. That means that is the bigger fraction. So let's say each of these is a cucumber. I'm gonna to prefer to eat one half of a cucumber. Num, num, num. All right, now let's say I have three fourths of a cucumber and five eighths of a cucumber. Three fourths means I take a slice and I cut it into four equal parts and I'm going to shade in three of those four pieces. Five eighths means I have eight equal pieces and I'm going to shade in five of them. For three fourths, I shaded in a little bit more. So if I would have shaded in this piece, it would have been about equal, but I'm going to eat three fourths of the cucumber. Now let's compare fractions to one half. So this shaded part, I'm gonna decide if it's more or less than one half. Well, if I were to cut this block of cheese in half, I'd cut it right there in the middle. And this part would be half, but I have more than half shaded in. So this shaded region is more than one half. If I were to cut this block of cheese in half, I'd slice it right here, and this right here would be half, but only part of it is covered, colored in, so this one is less than one half. We can also compare fractions by comparing each one to half. Let's say I have eight things. Half of eight would be four, but three is less than four, so this fraction is less than one half. Half of 12 would be six, but instead we have seven, so this fraction is greater than half. So if I had to use my symbols, the alligator would eat seven twelfths. Let's find some fractions on the number line. Three fourths. So three fourths is greater than zero. So we're gonna move this way from zero. And there's little tick marks. It's dividing this up into one, two, three, four equal parts. But we only move three of those. So one, two, three of the four equal parts. So that means three fourths is right here. Now let's find one fourth. One, four, one and one fourth is positive, so we're gonna move this way. We're gonna move to one, and then we're gonna keep on going one of those four extra parts. So one and one fourth is right here. One and one fourth is further to the right, which means that's the bigger number. So if I'm comparing three fourths and one and one fourth, the alligator eats one and one fourth. 